What's up, you guys? So, this has been a long time coming. I'm pretty happy to say this, but let's put some fucking pipes on. Fuck yeah. All right, guys, we are locked and loaded right now. We got the bike in the garage, and let's uh, take a look at what's been in there. Cause that's been sitting there for fucking ever. All right, so let's just do a real quick unboxing video. That shit out of the way. I know when RPW was asking whether or not I was gonna buy their pipes and whatnot, they were like, what size shirt do you wear? And as you can see from I love Satan. Uh, I'm wearing XL, but I'm not really that size. It's kind of like, kind of a little bit smaller. Usually I wear a medium. Keep that in mind. In case any of you guys want to send me some shit. Just like there we have it first. RPW in an XL. Take a look. That ah, shit. Cool, next line of business. All this fucking paper shit out the way. Is this a microfiber cloth? Yo. Rope Pipe Works Microfiber. Nice. Hose clamps. Also good bonus. More paper. Let's see. We have heat shields. Or at least one of them. Another heat shield. And the best part of all, the pipe. And then we got some more shit in here. Oh, look at that. Hang on, let me put this shit down. Get this paper out of the way. Curiously unwrapped, not in bubble wrap, we have the collector, also known as header, also known as chrome scratchy. No bueno, bubble wrap this man. Come on. Alright, what the shit? Jesus Christ. Yeah, right here. What could go wrong? Perfect. And then this is, I assume, a bracket to hold this shit all together. Another heat shield. That actually might be for the, yep, that's what it is. That's the heat shield for the collector. A little bit more heat shielding. More heat shields and probably some bolts. And more paper. Curiously, among all the paper, no actual paper work. So, uh, yeah. I guess we're dicked as far as instructions go. Let's look online for them. So guess what? The instructions online say, remove exhaust. Nice. Okay, so as best as I can remember, you're gonna need three things for this install. You're gonna need a socket that's 13 millimeters, 15 millimeters, and uh, a screwdriver for the hose clamps. So one of the problems with this is that you're also going to need a really slim ratcheting wrench to get over the bolts for the uh, that whole mess. Okay, so, uh, guess what? The Scout heat shields, they are hose clamped on, but they're hose clamped with non-removable, like, they don't screw in. You don't unscrew them to, uh, take them off, because you can't. So, <laughs> yeah. Another one done. Okay, this one's definitely going to be a little bit trickier just because of the angle it's at, but uh, we can do it, right? Alright. And with that, this should pop right off. Hell yeah. Oh, for anyone uh, wanting to uh, replace these with, uh, you know, the same ones, you can just get some normal hose clamps and sit them right in there. Now, if you're kind of a nerd like I am, how fucking cool is this right here, man? It's like, that's where the uh, old heat clamp was. And you can see that when it's running right, it's running slightly lean because the pipe is orange, but right here, where that heat shield was, that heat clamp, that's where it held a little bit more heat, or at least actually resisted more heat. And you can see the buildup of the discoloration right here around it. Ain't science fucking cool? Alright, now these ones should be relatively simple to get to compared to the others, just because, uh, 
They're a lot more accessible right here on the back. It's just the exterior. So let's get doing it. That's done. Fucking right. Hey, guess what dummy forgot the last heat shield? That's one. Good is broken. Oh, wait a minute. Ha ha, there's a third. Oh shit. Okay, now it's good as broken. Scratchy. Now that that's off, now we gotta figure out how to get the exhaust off. Still on step one of the process. Alright, so here's about the time you guys want to get that 15 millimeter socket out. First, we're gonna unclamp this, starting back at the mufflers. Now I think it goes without saying that you guys are probably going to want to keep all of these bolts. Don't throw them out. You never know what you might need them for. Like me, I'm losing them for instance, that's a good use. So what else needs to get unbolted back here? Okay, see this is why a set of instructions is always uh, helpful guys. So this is a 13 millimeter bolt back here. Now you can use a normal wrench like uh, any other dick would, but I went out and bought this because this is what I'm going to use for removing the header. The nice thing about these is they allow a nice little angle. Oh god. Don't use this wrench. It'll get stuck. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get out! Get off! Oh, Jesus Christ. That was scary as fuck. <sighs> Let's do it right this time. That should be loose. Let's see what's the hold up here. Aha! Another one! So this bolt is kind of a pain in the ass to get out. It's right here on the swing arm. Maybe I'm doing something out of order. The likelihood of that, what do you think? And then I realized I missed a bolt. So let's try and take this one out, huh? Yep, we're getting close. Alright, so I think I got all the bolts loose and uh... Now's the time to get creative. Nope. Charlie, I'm just being a little too gentle. Fuck me for loving my bike, right? So let's just try and yank this out. Nah, it's not happening from this side. Come on, man. Okay, as you can see, a little bit of progress is being made. Let's try and keep at it. Let's try a little PB blaster. Maybe that'll help us a little bit. We did make a little bit of progress there. Oh god, here it comes. Yes! Woo! How's that for hard work? Jesus Christ. One left. Okay. As you can see, the bolts are here which made it very annoying to get out, but this should be easy now. I'm gonna reintroduce my friend PV Blaster. Get this shit nice and squared away. If you need anything for this job, it's patience. Holy shit. Here she comes. Oh, oh fucking right. Donezo. Sort of. Okay guys, so both mufflers are off now. I think the only thing left to do to get the headers off are obviously the header bolts themselves, but uh, we got this bolt here that holds the bracket onto the headers or, you know, vice versa. So let's get cracking on that. So this is where you're gonna need that 13 millimeter socket. Oh, man, this shit's more of a pain in the ass than I thought it was gonna be. All right guys, this is about where the uh, 13 millimeter wrench is gonna come in hella handy. 
And if you're like me and you got big fucking hands, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. So let's just try and enjoy it, huh? I think I'm just gonna pause the video here because watching me fumble with this for four hours is probably really boring. So, <laughs> see you on the other end. Oh, okay, as you can see, the header's still on, but uh, I only have one bolt. So, uh, yeah. Sure wish you could lock these things into place. Oh, son of a dick, okay. The bottom head bolts out of uh, this pipe is done. Now I just gotta get to the top. Uh, word to the wise, it's actually a little bit easier if you've got one of these to attack this one from the other side of the bike. Okay, so bolt number four is out. However, we still only have three bolts up on up here on the seat. So uh, I'm fairly certain that bolt came out and went into the belt cover, which could be catastrophic if I were to ride this thing. But anyways, let's try and get this out now. Oh shit, no. Man, that would've been bad. My dumbass forgot the O2 sensors. First we'll do the rear one. That one's back here. So this one should be pretty easy to get at. I don't think this is a fucking 13 mil. 14 millimeters wrench. And they're out. Well, one is. Let's get this other one. Out comes the back. Or does it? Oh, yep, there it goes. And out comes the front, maybe. If it's feeling cooperative. Yes. Don't think the front wants to cooperate with us. My rear is out, my front is not so much. Let's get that flange out of there. Oh, no, we can't because the O2 sensor. Ah, there we go. Well, if anything, this amount of looseness should be able to let me get at that. That's broken loose. Can pull this O2 sensor out if you can twist it out yourself. Mine keeps wanting to recede. Okay, that's out. Now we can try and finagle this out again. Never good at these little metal puzzles. I'm no good at the bigger ones either. To the internet again. So, uh, guess what? Turns out there's a little secret that I didn't know. And that is that we have a 15 millimeter bolt here that unclamps this from that, making this much easier to come out. Let's give it a shot. Mr. PB. Wish I would have known this in the start of the process. <sighs> Fuck you, Scout Exhaust. <laughs> Fucking right. And then this one should finally come out. Ah, uh, God. Uh, a little research goes a long way, huh? So now we play the game of where the fuck did that exhaust flange bolt go? I'm gonna guess it's behind the belt cover. Hello. Ah, uh, there we are. Finally got that out. If I was sitting right at the bottom of the shield, got it back on. Let's move the fuck on. Okay, so the next step is to install muffler bracket using OEM bolts. Not take the first one off, not leave it anything where the what the fuck it, just install. So what the fuck does that mean? You know, it's like, do I leave it on here? Do I install it over top? I don't fucking know. This is why instructions are so crucial. All right, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to take it off. 15 16 should be able to cover this. So uh, yeah, be prepared for that if you don't have a metric socket the size proper. All right, once you have that off, you're going to need a uh, Allen key for these down here, of which I believe eight millimeters is the proper size. I wanna make sure it comes off nice and neat. All right, so I don't think we're gonna need these out of the old one. We're gonna need these four bits right here. I think I figured out the way in which you install these. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these on in. You know, as long as I don't fuck it up first. All right, I started getting a little resistance when I was screwing it in there though, so. Maybe just a tad of ever seize might do some good. Don't want to put too much on there though, because I don't want it to, don't want it to ever come loose.
That should be snug. Guess what was hiding in the bag of bolts and hose clamps? Alright guys, so this has been a pretty much a clusterfuck of a day if I've ever known one. But uh, the next part of the instructions says to uh, take these hose clamps, put it on through here where the uh, front header pipe's gonna go through, and you're gonna wanna have them up this way. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to fish it through here. Hopefully not fuck anything else up. There we go. Now what we gotta do is put it on the uh, front header pipe like so. So this is gonna have to go around that open and then see if I can't fish it on through. Nope, all these little metal shavings coming out of nowhere. Makes me feel great about the craftsmanship. <laughs> all right, there we go. Fit this on through the top. Just gonna tighten this enough to where it's loose and I can adjust it once it's finally installed. Because you don't want it to the point where it's gonna be like way too fucking tight, but of course you're making it adjustable, so. I'm really just having verbal diarrhea at this point, so pay no mind. I'm gonna assume that's how this thing's supposed to go on, because, yeah, that's gotta have room for the flange. Gotta make sure it's farther back enough to where you can actually get to it when you're trying to put it in. I think that might be good. For the time being, anyway. All right, so the next part of this is actually going straight to the O2 sensor. So what we're gonna do is get that thing in there. Um, actually, this is a different threading. All right, so luckily they included the uh, reducer plugs, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and get that on. See, what I'm actually gonna be doing with this is uh, I'm not just bunging these holes up. I'm gonna be using this to where I can uh, still use my O2 sensors, and we'll get to that in a little while. Tuning's gonna be a whole different monster for this thing. All right, so what I'm I'm gonna try and do is twist the cable a little bit so I can not have a whole lot of trouble getting the O2 sensors to spin the way I want to tighten in. Alright, let's get this uh, tightened up. Now we can go ahead and attach the pipe. You know, whenever it wants to go in, good to get the flanges over the... There we go, just like that. And then shove that on up in there. Come on, we're just there. Come on. That might be as tight as I can get it on there right now. But if that's the case, why is it still fucking moving? Get in there. God damn. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw on one of the top nuts in here. This is the worst part of the install, by the way. Worst part by far. Come on, just thread up. That's all we need. There we go. Now for the bottom. As I said before, it'll actually be easier to screw this one in by hand on the other side. Come on. Thread, you piece of shit. Alright. Okay, I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do for that for now. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Alright guys, so here we have the big header pipe. This is the one that's gonna go back, and this is the one that's gonna go all the way to the front. Now the first thing I wanna do with this is not make the same mistake I made with the last one and just go ahead and take care of this O2 sensor port. Gonna go ahead and plug the reducer size in. Screw that in nice. I would say don't worry too much if these don't sit as nice as you'd like them to because once you screw the O2 sensor in, the force from screwing that in should force anything forward. Okay, now the next bit of uh, instructions is to turn this fucker around and install this on it. That's kind of loose the way it is, so uh, we're gonna have to get a, well actually, nah, can't do that by hand. Alright, let me get a wrench and uh, go ahead and put this right onto here. Alright, so I'm hot as shit right now, so I'm not thinking straight, and I just jerry-rigged up this thing. Let's go ahead and get this on here. Will this fit? Gotta loosen it more. Oh god, that was too much. That's alright, I can slip it around anyway. Okay, so as it turns out, the uh, the instructions do not actually tell you when to put the heat shields on this, like they did the first one, but uh... <sighs> Judging by how the first installed, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably a good idea to put the heat shields on this one. So let's go ahead and do that. First things first, I'm gonna do this one, because this one goes to the front head pipe. That's where we're working. We need one, two, three, three of those clamps. Another one here for the midsection. A little metal shading came out of that one. Just like that. Now it's ready to go on there. All right, so that one's gonna be a little more annoying to position just from the location of it. All right, so those will go under there, these tabs here. So what we'll have here is a heat shield right there. Two hose clamps here. So now we're gonna open these up, install them around like that. Now we just need the one remaining big one. 
flip that around the collector. There we go. Now I'm gonna tighten all these, but not to full tightness. All right. Let's go ahead and put this shit on now. My concern is, yeah, okay, it's gotta be like that, because this has to go over top that. That's a, let's get this on. Tightening heat shields. Can't get the flanges over. Boy, that'd be nice to get those over there, huh? It's not cooperating. Well, that would be why. Pipe isn't even going in. Okay. I think we may have solved the issue after getting a quick set of eyes on it and reversing some hose clamps and T joint here. I loosened up the front to see if we can get some more wiggle room there. So let's see what we can get here. First, gonna go ahead and slide this on in. Okay, so, update. Loosened that, got that in, was able to get this in further, and I just now got the rear O2 sensor in. You know what guys, I am uh, think I'm gonna go ahead and say, fuck this for tonight, man. I gotta, I gotta fucking take a break. I'm gonna go eat some dinner or some shit. Who knew this pile of junk right here was gonna take so much fucking time. Oh my God. But uh, yeah, so we'll get cracking on this in the morning. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm a lot less pissed off. See you there.